Now let's go on to the prophecies. And the prophecies of uh, chapter 11 of Daniel it does rather something uh, extremely incredible if you believe it was written in the 6th century. He predicts how the, king, uh, the kingdom of Alexander the Great would be divided from the 4th century to the 2nd century with uncanny accuracy. So it was just... He makes these amazing, accurate predictions of how this historical drama or this historical play of the succession of kings and how they would fight and conquer one another with, with amazing accuracy. Uh, let's take a, an example from this. His sons shall wage war and assemble a multitude of great forces to which shall advance like a flood and pass through again and carry the war as far as his fortress. Uh, Slecalanius II Calanius was succeeded by his son the th third, who waged war against Egypt, but was assassinated in uh, 20, 223 BC, which was the time he was succeeded by Aconanius the Great. Aconanius pursued the war against the king of the south, which is more vigored which he preceded in his predecessor, and 218 BC. He assembled a multitude of great forces and advanced easily through the Palestinian and waged the war into Gaza. So this this war basically, or this whole thing, is completely accurate all the way up until verse 44. Then that's where it goes all to shit. Um... At the time of the end of the king of the south shall attack him, but the king of the north shall rush upon him like a whirlwind, with chariots and horsemen with, and with many ships, and he shall advance against the countries and pass through like a flood, and shall come like a beautiful land, and ten thousand shall fall victim. But Edom and Moab and the main part of the Ammonites shall escape from his power, and he shall be stretched out with his hand against these countries, and the land of Egypt shall not escape, and he shall become the ruler of the treasures of gold and silver, and the riches of all Egypt. And the Labinians and the Ethiopians shall follow in his train. But the reports from east and to the north shall alarm him, and he shall go forth with a great fury and bring ruin and complete destruction to many. He shall pinch, pinch his tents between the sea and the beautiful holy mountain, and he shall come to his end with no, with no one to help him. Well, none of this happened. And the problem explains the sudden prophecy failures after a long string of uncanny uh, successes, that is, the writer who lived during the time of Antioch, uh, Antioch is Phineas, which took uh, long back events until he reached the time when he was writing the book in order to continue these prophecies. So he actually predicted his predictions, um, his predictions really proved incorrect. So what the, the uh, writer of Daniel was really trying to do is, you know, make all these so-called predictions and then make this other prediction which is supposed to come true. In other words, he was trying to make his real prediction believable because so much of it was really fulfilled, but really all of that was a post-prediction. Which is probably why so many people believe it today, because a lot of it is accurate. But they sort of like count the hits and ignore the messes. You know, they try to explain it with double meanings and and all sorts of other things instead of you know taking it as a failure. So as you can see, the um, the history in Daniel is is extremely bad, and yet it was written written by a sixth century person. And then it has prophecies so accurate for the 2nd century. Well, at least to a point.
So I think it's more reasonable to assume that it was written in the 2nd century than in the 6th century. And it certainly proves that uh, the Bible is not inerrant. That's for damn sure, especially with all the scripture that is mentioned. So there is a lot of conflict in the Bible. So not only that would remove Daniel, that would remove uh, Jeremiah, that would remove probably Ezekiel, that would probably remove uh, uh, the Chronicles and Kings. So that is a big chunk out of the Bible. Uh, I hope you enjoyed what I've shared. Um, of course, I have links to which I uh, took all this information from. And so, review for yourself if you don't believe me. Uh, so remember, people, rationality is the path to righteousness. Peace.